God dang it! Okay. Are we are we live, Pip? Welcome back. I am Aquatic. We are very excited to have everybody here today. Saginaw Valley State University versus Robert Morrison University here in playoffs for Overwatch 2. This is uh, very exciting. This is solid. Yep. We are, interestingly enough, in semifinals as we did have a break week and then another week past that that we did not play due to some teams, colleges having a different break week than most of the other organizations. So they took two breaks in between. Mm -hmm. So it has been a minute since we have actually been in here. So it'll be interesting to see how teams shake up and how these teams roll out their play styles. As you can see, we are moving to Antarctic Peninsula for the first game of Control. And it'll be interesting to see what comps come out on either side. It's always exciting watching Overwatch 2. It's a very dynamic game, and there's a lot of creative freedom that you can take with the characters that you run and the team compositions you try to go for, the different play styles, as Kaiser mentioned there. Lots of uh, in interesting things. What is... <laughs> Did you just see my Nemo? <laughs> oh, my God. No, Our right. resident funny man, Nemo. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. The... Oh, they can't no. see chat. Delightful. Nope. Um, Delightful. Delightful. In Arctic that... Peninsula, first map here. Anyone a little bit unfamiliar? We have, uh, we play, we start on a, what is it, control? Yeah, we start on a control map. Hybrid from there? We go hybrid, then we go to um, flashpoint. Flashpoint, and then push. And then push. And then Where... if we need, then finally we have a yes. escort. Oh, for the very last headphones Ghost beep. game five. So, mine did not beep. Yes, they beeped. I, I don't, I don't know what happens. But, anyways. We rarely see a third map go down or a fourth map go down. Usually teams are either one ahead or another. But as we are in playoffs, we most likely will actually see teams going to a fourth map or even further because teams just go such back and forth. It's been really cool uh, to watch Saginaw Valley's A team here has had a really good, uh, really good, what is it, regular season, I undefeated or maybe one loss. So now we'll get to see as teams <laughs> like dying. lose or uh, uh, as it kind of goes up the I rung here in playoffs, play. then it will oh, start yeah. It'll start getting even more competitive. Yes. We're going to see. Very exciting here. Get a little bit of a, a walk through the area. As you can see, ice. Yes. They said ice. Yep. It is a uh, literal icicle it, you are in. It looks like they hollowed out part of an iceberg. Anyway, here we go. Starting out, we get Ooh. to take a little look at the compositions here. Like I almost saw a double Sombra. <laughs> Um, not, that was interesting. Very interesting to see the difference in team comps. Looks like SAC is going for more of a brawly kind of AOE comp. We see Pierre on the Junkrat, which is very um, stereotypical of this map. I see a lot of Junkrats being played on this map, especially this first map point. And we can see Robert is actually running a full dive comp here. Yeah, very fast. We got a, a DPS that just goes right to the back line and a tank that'll join them. Some healers that can go everywhere. Difficulties. Okay, there we go. We see starting uh, as most teams often will do, going for this high ground on that side there. This is a big high ground map. There's a lot of high ground to contest, and it's very difficult to play on the low ground. Finding one has immediately. It. Getting in there in Pure initial finding a kill. second. Nemo so good, taking all that space right at the start. Lots of damage. Finding one back. SSU so far have control of the point here, just with the Doomfist on the backside here. SSU trying to clean up the Doomfist, trying to get out. Hacked by Nemo. Joe Pidenpog finds the one onto Doomfist, and Robert is left without a tank here. Got to back up a little bit. First fight's going to go to Saginaw Valley. You can see, even with, you know, you assume you want to brawl, stay together. Saginaw Valley split up there and made it work. These characters can kind of, other outside of Reinhardt, can fight from range pretty effectively. They can play close, they can play far. And you know, Viddy on the Lucio can speed everybody around, make sure nobody gets caught out. Switching over to the Orisa here. Let's see how that plays out. Robert switching to the Orisa immediately, noticing that the dive comp hasn't been really working out into this bruisery comp. Pierre brought dangerously low to the Orisa and is forced to back off. Same with Joe Biden Pog. SVSU still controlling the point, contesting it, ticking up slowly at 30% here. Ryan charging in immediately going into the back line of Robert here. Very interesting to see. This is just a straight out brawl. Sleazy finding two onto the DPS and healer. Viddy trying to stay alive onto the point and is finally brought down. SVSU have lost the team fight and lose the point here. 
it was so looking sad. I don't know, for a lot of that, a lot of damage coming out. Morrison had to back up. They got a little bit split, but it looked like they kind of grouped back together at that last second, got onto point, made something happen, and everything just kind of fall. We'll see a little bit of a team comp switch here. Nemo switching over to the Sigma. A lot more range. Uh, I know Piers liking that. You can sit behind the shield with Junkrat and bounce mines everywhere. That's going to work for them. Let's see how that plays out. We can see the all econ on both sides slowly ticking up. SVSU with the advantage here. Skelzy on the Orisa is ticking up slowly, so SVSU have to try not to stay too grouped or else they'll get caught by a whole Orisa. Mercy with the alt there. Orisa caught dangerously low, taking out the bat land. Jobat and Pog finding one, Zippy finding another, and Vidi taking down Miri. SVSU winning the fight so far and are capping the point. I'm not quite sure where these alts are going to go, but I can definitely say, at least in the tank department, uh, Morrison's going to get a lot more out of this. That Sigma Flux, they have both a Baptiste Lamp and Orisa can use Fortify, just take, like, zero damage. If anyone happens to go down, there's a Mercy there to res. I'm not sure that's going to work out in Saginaw's favor. But, that being said, some of the other alts will work out really well. That bat, uh, Baptiste ult will absolutely slaughter, especially if you start throwing Junkrat mines there. Yes. Huge damage here. Oh, Orisa finds two. Down goes in uh, yeah, third, one just about died two to too. four. Wow, Junkrat almost finding a shot onto a Flying Mercy. That's how you know you're at a top level. When Junkrats start shooting the uh, <laughs> shooting the flying targets, that's when you know you're at the Grandmaster level of the game. SSU ticked up to 71% here, so they will ultimately have to fight only one more team fight if they do cap the point. But Morrison is catching up here and is going back and forth between who has the point and who doesn't. Both teams sitting on the Baptiste window. Both popped on that high ground. Here comes a hack. Nemo's in a bit of a rough spot. They'll have to use the beat, keep everybody up. Be a little bit oh yeah You're now with everything out of the way there's only one alt left morrison's got the mercy valk will probably keep everybody alive a little bit longer nobody's fallen yet everybody stayed up even after all's invested couple hacks it's a bit of a brawl willow finds the first onto joe biden pog 4v5 morrison's favor looking like a scramble here a really spread out brawl pierce just trying to find something onto the healers in the back line gets a lot of damage maybe baptiste on one health but the rest of saginaw is going to fall Still really chaotic, still a spread out brawl, but there we go. Zippy's going to back up here. About 5% left. They got to get onto point to trigger the overtime. Oh, here comes the hero May. Just triggering it last second. Not going to look uh, particularly good here for Saginaw. They do have an ult. There goes the Sigma Flux. Try to lift some into the air. Doesn't really find anything attacked. Tough Nemo fighting on point. This isn't exactly where Sigma wants to be. This is Orisa's domain. Pier finds one, trying to even up. Almost finds another one onto the other damage. But alas, the healers will keep everybody alive. Very well played there from uh, Robert Morrison. The first map goes to Robert Morrison, and we'll be moving to the second control point here. SJSU, interestingly enough, both teams trying to switch down into different comps, trying to counter one another, as we know that. Overwatch 2 is very rock, paper, scissors. So once you switch to a comp, other team either has to switch or try and make it work. If not, it just ends up not working out. So SVSU going back to the Bruiser comp here with the Orisa comp also staying on top. So it will be very interesting to see what happens here. SVSU is trying to figure out a game plan here. They're thinking maybe stay with the Junkrat, maybe not. But looks like they switch back to the Ilari here. So it'll be very interesting to see how SASU actually pulls this off. This map is a little bit more open too, so it'll be interesting to see how the Junkrat actually works here. Nemo getting there on that Reinhardt. Now this can brawl with the Orisa. Orisa and Reinhardt both are very close range characters. They can brawl, they can fight together. That, oh, that uh, Reinhardt fire strike gets so much uh, damage right through that choke point. Oh, going for a little bit early ult charge. Saginaw's going more towards point here. They're going to be able to, oh, taking a lot of damage, but they will be able to take that kind of part of the map. Pure in the back line, going for an assassination onto the support. Robert Morrison in a little bit of a tough spot. They have to kind of shift around, reposition. Willow finds the first on Nemo, no tank. That's gonna be really rough for Saginaw. Down goes a few more, losing all those key abilities. You can see, looks like just backing up at this point. SSU losing the first team fight, so Mo Robert Morrison will be the team to cap the first point. Here finding one on the Willow, Jaden and Noctira finding them in SSU is team wiped here can see that SVSU is switching comps here immediately as Nemo has swapped to the Orisa to try and do a mirror match with Robert Morrison and doesn't look like anybody else has been changing so it looks like SVSU oh the Torbjorn's coming what out in? what Torb in what in Torbjorn am I looking at oh we can see he finds a dink at least finds a little bit of early Ooh. damage 
It's very interesting to see the Torbjorn come out with this exact team comp, as it's not exactly kind of fits into any comp. It kind of just comes out whenever your team's looking for some just extra damage, as that turret provides so much damage on the enemy opposing team. Nemo here trying to get as much damage on the other Arisa as possible. Arisa doesn't do a lot of damage, but stays alive a long time and does a lot of crowd control. See, Joe Biden Pog does find the first opening uh, kill there onto Jaden. It's going to be a bit of a slow push in here. They don't want to get caught out with too much damage. Nemo's going in, trying to find as much as possible. Here's the Baptiste window, almost taking down Nemo. Pure finds another one. That's going to be two down for Robert Morrison, but they keep so much damage. So much point pressure here. Orisa just does not die. There's so much. Willow gets res. Nocturne in the back line. They're still up one. Have to, Vidi has to invest the Soldier Nult. Down goes Willow again. Pure finds two with the ult. They have to use two alts there. Trying to clean up that fight. Robert Morrison. For so long there, they keep the point ticking in their favor. Really well played. SJSU finally capturing the point here, and it's going to be an uphill battle for them as they do have to keep this point for almost 70% here. And Robert Morrison is coming back with a EMP ult, which will be very dangerous as SJSU don't really have any defensive ults here to work with. They do have the Torbjorn to deny area, but that doesn't do much when you get hacked from over a wall. I'm interested to see what the alt is going to play out here. That alt economy is so important in this game. Saginaw has two, about to take over into three. Robert Morrison only has one. And EMP is not really as good as it used to be. Though, Jen finds one onto Joe Biden Pog in the back line. Robert Morrison gets Orissa and... Oh, almost on a point there. Almost takes over. They just barely managed to touch. Here comes the EMP. Oh, the Cancel the Orissa ult. Robert Morrison might be able to, if they sneak it, might be able to start getting the point ticked over for them. Yep, there it is, 75% and counting. SSU's team wipe there and have to get back to the point as they only have one team fight to actually try and get onto it. It will be interesting to see who they switch to. Pierre switching to the tracer just to get back to the point faster. You can see Jaden lurking on the side wave. It will be interesting to see how this goes down here. SSU being pushed back. Pierre gets hacked immediately onto the J Jaden and is forced to use the recall. Try yes, use the recall there. While that's going on, rest on the team fight is not going particularly well for Saginaw. Robert Morrison has done such a great job finding picks. Saginaw just one. can't seem to stay up. Also staying oh. alive. Wow, Jaden fine, finally finds a one on the pure as they, they switch here. Lots of alts finally coming out on the last fight. 99% here for Robert Morrison. They just need to win this last team fight. Nemo's just maybe the last one left alive. Nope, there's Vidi in the last. Finally going down. Trying to go for just, the hook there. Just Nemo. Nemo is pushed off the point here and just barely gets tapped back on and looks like Robert Morrison takes the first map here. Interesting first map here. Taking a look at this composition, we have a bit of a mixed bag. So Orissa again, Orissa, well, we see the hack play of the game. Orissa stays on point, crowd control stays alive, doesn't do too much else. You have Spear to make some, some huge plays, yeah. cancel alt, eat alt, as well as the javelin spin. But just that, that's kind of the whole point. This Sombra right here stays, goes for the back line, tries to find a kill. Sojourn kind of plays almost like a sniper, Very mid pokey. to long range. Pokes try to find a headshot with Railgun. Baptiste likes to sit with a shield behind a Sigma and play a like really grouped up poke comp or maybe a brawl comp. And Mercy kind of does that as well. It's a little all over the place, it, but somehow they make it work. And I think the key is the picks. There's always a pick happening. While you're getting distracted by the Orisa who's staying on point, the Mercy can sit and damage boost the Sojourn. It's a whole bunch of damage, finds a kill, as well as the Sombra. Huge pick off potential bet between those two, and then playing the uh, team fight from there, up, up, up a player. We saw so many opening picks there. We can see that Robert Morrison is playing a very steadfast comp there as they're just kind of holding their ground and staying in front of SVSU and not allowing them to do any plays that they want to because the moment one of them tries to split off, usually the Sombra or Sojourn is there to capitalize and take down whoever is splitting off and then joining the team back and then all focusing right on the front line of SVSU. And SVSU is having a really hard time to try and kind of break through this sort of front line barrier that Robert Morrison has been uh, providing for them. We can see we are moving on to Numbani. We are moving to the hybrid Ooh. map here. This is going to be the first time because usually we see King's Row come out yeah. onto most teams. So it'll be interesting to see if SVSU have actually practiced this map at all and are just trying to pull this out here. But yeah. It's been a minute since we've seen Numbani. I think it was for the last map rotation. It, it wasn't in, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. It was That's not in was. the last map rotation, so it will be pretty new. SVSU are going to be on the defense here first, so... 
be interesting to see what comp comes out here if they try and do a more defensive comp or if they're going to stay stick with the brawl but we do know that for robert morrison so far the orissa kind of just steadfast slowly ch chip away at you and then exploit whoever gets off of your front line and gets out of the healing range be interesting to see i'm gonna call that we're gonna see that same comp because i think robert orson's comp that they ran last time can still function here you can keep the baptiste and the sojourn on the high ground mercy flying around you can keep um on, i completely i take it all back completely different <laughs> comp here yes uh switching up three of their characters oh double doom looks like and SASU double doom fist yeah. SASU have thought of the same exact idea they just want to dive I think it might be because SASU think that they're going to be running the Orissa and just like steadfast and they want to cause as much chaos as possible with these such high movement characters and fast characters with some just constant damage that is a nasty that's, Torbjorn, a, that's a good right? turret see here's the thing neither soldier nor torbjorn can get dove particularly easily soldier has that rapid fire to and the rockets to stop hacks from happening uh torbjorn can pop the overdrive ability and stay alive we'll see if Jaden can find any uh anything here i don't know maybe viddy is going to be is going to be the target if we can see soldier poking immediately and there comes a doomfist just coming out instantly SSU just trying to keep the high ground and just playing corners pushing them back Looks like Doomfist is coming up into them. Is very dangerously low there. Is forced to get out of there with the res. Willow is dangerously close into the back line there. Everybody's all over that the place. That was a slide. Yep, Joe Biden finding one on Amiri. Willow. Nemo fell off! No, Nemo actually shot himself with this rocket. So, no, that's terrible. But it's looking like it might still go Saginaw's favor. Finally the finding turret. a couple of kills. The wow. It's just surprisingly did so much damage there's nobody focused it and that's just a glorious of torby or just nobody pays attention to it that's just yeah. win the first team fight here it's so interesting neither of these team comps want to fight on the point both want to stay like on the high ground away from it shooting down towards it or diving up onto said high ground it's really interesting to see the point is almost completely ignored until the last little bit there that's so interesting this echo i think is going to get a lot pure can't deal with it yeah this is just this is really good pick here from robert morrison echo is going to be so tough to deal with lots of damage pure is going to have to Pure's back still up still alive how insane healing play there from saginaw valley we've seen that oh from my. both sides joe biden pog finds the first one onto robert morrison's doom jan returns the favor four versus four but pure's in the back line finding some damage onto robert morrison's kiriko finds the kill nemo finds one onto willow and bye bye the movement on the side of at both teams oh. here is just yeah so chaotic as everybody has a movement ability to make them go faster jump higher just get out of harm's way or just cause as much chaos as possible i think sasu really is doing a good job here of just making sure no single one is the target and then just finding picks when the team is uh all separated and just chaos ensues so nobody they can't play that straight steadfast line that they usually do they swap to the Ana mid going to the Ana midair going for oh a nano i guess uh early to trying to maybe counteract oh i don't know pierce they can't find the kill there oh no but rest of the brawl on point lots of kills on either side here couple falling down goes rob morrison's tank i think it's a 2v2 at this point oh that's a lot of damage popping alt staying alive saginaw still in it they got the tank Although Pierre just can't pin any of it down. Two flying characters. He can't find anything. That's the issue with the rest of his team here. That was the only oh. thing keeping alive. Like the Torbjorn and the Soldier were keeping the Echo in check. Stays alive. Pierre's in this. Ooh, the, the Nano Mano. stays alive. Absolutely moles. Wow. Sombra stays through so it. much going on here. Tries to get out. Oh no. The Doomfist is alone. SSU prevent them from fully capping the point as they only have one section of it so far and the time clock is ticking they have a minute left to try and push this there's going to be only maybe one maybe two team fights left if it's very fast it's absolutely insane play i i don't know how either of these comps are functioning at all switching over to the diva we're going to see how that works out maybe to try to deal with torbjorn maybe you can dive that a little bit better with this character we're going to see lots of damage pure gets the charge punch really quick he go for oh misses oh, that's no. gonna put him in a bad spot has to use the ability to get out now goes oh, no. goes in with the diva yep get back up there now pure can't get in there to help jaden finds the initial pick here's the kiriko all on the high ground lots Ooh. of damage up there it's gonna be really tough to get rid of that willow finds one on the joe biden pog i think only two left alive for Sagna. unfortunately they needed only one more really good play i guess the diva swap just changed that entire fight
They do have very little time though, as they only get two minutes to actually push this cart, and as soon as you get to reset, as the cart actually has an animation where it has to fully charge up and get out. So, Ooh. Oh, Nemo in a tough spot will get out. Looks with... like we do see Zippy swapping to the Lucio here rather than the... What was the... Baptiste? Yeah. Or... Yes, it was Baptiste. Just a little bit more mobility, a little bit more healing all around the area. So it'll be interesting to see how SVC respond to this. As they do have a Soldier Alt and a Doomfist Alt coming online. Opposed to a Diva Mech Alt and a Willow Metamorphosis. You never associate Doomfist oh, no. with defense, but they're making it work here. The Ingo's the Diva Bomb just creates a little extra space pure. Tries to find some extra damage onto Diva here. Oh, gets hit by all the abilities. Gonna be in a really tough spot. Has to use Slam. Early not gets bailed out. The ult there. Power up punch. Ooh, that's dangerous. Mr. Beam. Fighting oh, insane support play. Pure is still up. How is this happening? Oh, Hex pure, finds pure. the kill. What? Pure enables two or three kills there. Saginaw manages to win this fight. Battle of the Beast. Kiriko versus yes. Torbjorn. Fight. Hammer. Hammer. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nemo not allowing the hammer kill, but SJSU winning the first team fight and the point is getting pushed back there. Minute 20 left on the clock here as they did not have a lot of time going into this push, actually. So it'll be interesting to see where they get to and how far back the cart gets pushed. Saginaw's in a really, really good spot here. Two alts already online, about to be five. It's nothing oh, on There's the other Widow side. Oh, what? Widow almost gets killed from the dive in the back line. Here goes to the slam, finds a bunch of damage. Oh, here comes the nano, keeps alive, back up to full health here. Very dangerous to have in the middle of a team fight. Here comes the Molten Core. Here's Zippy trying to keep everything stable, Punch keeping off. pure mobile. Joe Biden oh, finds one. Punched. There's the punch. The punch. Bye bye, Mercy. Nothing Mercy's more gone. to do. 45 seconds left. That'll be one team fight left. Ah, I do not know if SJC keep getting these off timers and pushing them back. They're going to have to force some kind of fight here to get onto the point. SJC is looking, doing a decent job to sleep onto oh. the Diva. Instantly taking them. Oh, the push. Nice. What a kill there. Joe Biden fog finds another one. Diva's alone. Terrible spot here because punch back has to use thrusters. Does nice. make it out. There is a Torbjorn mat to get put down onto the cart there if they decide to do a rush play here, as we can see them not really swapping to anything. There is an EMP available. There comes the a few Oh, oh my what a little was bit that? of it gets eaten. <laughs> but it finds the kill on the it widow. It finds a kill. What there is just, that? Oh, there's the soldier on the high ground, Joe Biden and Pog finds a few. Gets res, but oh Nemo's my, there. Yeah, with on? that, that's so difficult to deal with. Mercy, oh, the evasion is absolutely man. insane. Holy cow! There's the diva. You're fine. More pushing them off. There Ow. is a sojourn left and is taken down immediately. The Brigitte trying to get onto the point in there. And SJSU actually stopped them from pushing. I can't believe that. I never see the cart stop there. It's either right at the corner or goes up to the next bus. I feel like it's so hard to hold that right right where they were next to the bus because the attackers had that high ground and it's just like this open field that they can use the cart as cover and get there I, it, that's such a weird spot for the cart to end up i've never seen this i mean i've also never seen doom fist on new bonnie <laughs> yeah. a doom, doom double fist doom fist. i mean it is his map that was the showcase of when ah, he was on true. his trailer it was that's his trailer true. showcase so home field advantage yes. home field advantage it was his home field when he was first revealed into that cinematic but it'll be interesting to see what both teams come out with on what they decide to play. Is it going to be another Doomfist v. Doomfist? Yeah. Or is Robert Morrison going to try and rock, paper, scissors and adapt? Whoa. Looks like SVSU is going Whoa. for a fairly dive comp with this Genji Doomfist. But looks like Robert Morrison is responding with the comp that kind of worked against SVSU. They just ran out of time. So we didn't really get to see how well it worked because they were very rushed, but we can see Jaden swapping off Sombra onto Bastion, and they're still keeping Scalzi on the D.Va. Bastion just has a little extra survivability, can fight a little bit better into Doomfist, despite being a much yes. bigger hitbox to hit with uh, the primary fire. Uh, you can go turret form and just... and maybe just, just burn through. You can see Genji there to deal with some of the backline threats. Dive, try to take Willow out of the fight for a little bit. Maybe Nocturna. Very we'll interesting see. to see how SSU's backline is compared to their frontline as they have a Genji Doom who really want to dive, but the Kiriko, the Ana, and the Widow just want to snipe at from afar. And we can see Pierre immediately trying to take high ground there, but is unfortunately booped off by the Diva charge. There he goes back again, just keeps cycling those abilities. 
Widow there's trying to get a snipe, see if they can take down D.Va in one fail swoop. There comes a dive immediately from Pure. Whoa. Is slept and Ana-nated and is taken down immediately. That's four sister, but maybe Nemo can find one oh, in the back Nemo line almost. Down too. SSU forced on the defensive as they lost both of their front line here. It's very interesting to see how they play. Can J Joe Biden Pog find a snipe here? Ana nated, Ana taken down by Willow. SSU forced onto the back, but Pierre coming in for backup here. Pierre Cope dashes out. Willow finding one on the video again. Jaden finding one oh. on the zippy with a random nade from out of nowhere from downtown i really want to point out the support play all night it's been absolutely insane both these support lines have kept their tanks alive through miraculous situations we saw in that first fight junkrat simply got no value because the healers were keeping uh keeping each other under wraps keeping each other topped off even though Pierre was finding those uh those push in the back line and across this map the amount of saves i've seen have been absolutely incredible both have been doing so well we can see there joe biden the Finds that kill in the back line. That's going to be a, a great start. Uh, purple on all over. Zippy really swapping low. to the Zenyatta immediately. Oh, very interesting to see. Especially after this character's nerf. Jaden finding two on a pier and Joe Biden Pog. SSU forced the retreat here. Nemo here on the Genji has not up to the blade yet. They really want that nano blade, assumedly. Wow. Yeah, there's so much low health here for Saginaw. Two minutes left on the clock. What are they looking at? What you is the play? see Torbjorn getting switched. Zenyatta doesn't really... I feel like wouldn't work here as there's just so many angles that they can get behind and get that Discord off of them. And that's such a high cooldown now that it's not really worth it to try and put it onto somebody who's just going to dash around a corner and you can't see them. There is just so much pickoff potential here and I'm interested to see... Who they're going to focus? Are we going for the Bastion? Are we going to try to Discord the D.Va? Who's getting that Discord Orb? And how are they going to uh, capitalize it? Here versus Tracer the Tracer. Nemo out. is low. This is a tough composition. Neither of your healers are mobile. They can't get in a uh, good position to heal you on the fly. They have to position ahead of time and on attack. That can be a little bit difficult. Pure goes down. Saginaw can't find anything here. Yeah, Saginaw's just being forced off the point here as Robert Morrison doing a very good job at denying them entry to this point whatsoever. As wow. I don't think SJSU have touched the point wow. a single time here. That's insane. Will finds those dude. That stagger is huge. Saginaw has to wait for those uh, respawns to come back now. And SJSU only have one team fight, maybe two if they get wiped immediately or if they wipe the other team there. Got to get on the point here somehow. Just trying to sneak. Can see Nemo just trying to get onto the point. Just trying to not draw attention. Oh, no. Oh, uh, Tracer had the callback. Oh, Tracer here's caught out here. Yes. I don't. Nope. Nope. There are the heals. Oh, there's the Diva Bomb. Punch. Oh, Gets no. around the corner. There it goes. This isn't good, though, for Saginaw. They Four alts seconds. here for Robert Morrison. Using them doesn't. Don't find any kills off the bat, but still wasting time. Pure in the back line. Yes, Nano finds a bunch of damage, but maybe not a kill. There's the. Keep everybody keeping alive. Here's that support play is absolutely incredible. Healed back up to full, but unfortunately the HP pool is not enough. Pierre finding one kill. Torbjorn Matt coming out. Trying to get on the brigade. Shield immaculately. Whoa. Nemo finding two. Pierre finding another. SSU might actually just cap it here. Crazy flank there from Nemo. Gets on their, their high ground. Makes some kills happen. Just a turnaround here. SSU doing the exact same thing that surprisingly Robert Morrison did. This is such an even game as they cap it immediately with 10 seconds left here, just like Robert Morrison. Now they only have to push it as far as Robert Morrison got, or technically 0.01 further, yeah. further, but yeah. Guilty finding one on the Joe Biden immediately. Willow being brought down dangerously low, but makes it back up to full. SSU just trying to wait, trying to wait for the Torbjorn to get back. Just place the turret on the cart and push. This there it is. Wait, there is the oh, turret. There's the turret. A little uh, pirate ship here from Overwatch 1. So if only they had a shield. Gotta get that bastion in there. Oh, that slide. That's absolutely crazy. Nobody's Dating, down. He in the turret. Everybody's still up here. Ron Orson's got to fight this corner, though. Nemo finds that opening pick onto Jaden. Huge play from the Rockets there. Oh, oh there goes. Oh, no. Pure gets anti-nated, though. Oh, Pure. Can they make something happen? In the back line, finds one oh, through no. the shield. Down goes maybe the other healer. Huge plays. Almost make it happen. No, Zippy second. finds both the healers. Nobody else is left alive. It's just Zippy, though. Willow, unfortunately, Willow. SSU lost their tank very early in that fight, and they just weren't able to put output enough damage to actually kill that D.Va oh, no. and the healer on top of them. Pure is the only one left here, joined by Nemo here, just trying to make the cart get pushed, but brought dangerously low as there's not a lot of healing here yet. SSU very close. There comes oh, a Diva ult there. That might be big. Will it find anybody? It does nope. find the turret. No. Down goes the turret. Jen finds that first opening kill. Minute 15 left for Saginaw. If they back up now, they might have enough time for a regroup. Couple of ults coming online. 
Oh, oh there goes bomb. one. Joe Biden peeking down. SSU are in off putting timers here. There comes a second. Biddy finding one. SSU trying to fight back here. They got to back Pierce up. Pierce dangerously low and is taken down. They got to wait here. They just have one push left. Two alt here. They have the Kiriko Rush, a very strong ultimate, as well as the Torbjorn ult to try to blank and get maybe, maybe get Robin Morrison just off the card, dump the uh, the lava all over there. Pierre has that ult. Looks like huge damage. Robert maybe we can make that work. Yeah. Robert Morrison though has a Bastion ult. Maybe can use it to get everybody off the cart. You can see the bat. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Time to Dive in the back the line. Going comes. up. Oh, Jan can't move Ooh. in the dark form, but stays alive. Ooh. Pure's going for that kill, but he's Maybe gonna be out of fight. On the Mary. Zippy, Zippy kill. Pure, they clean up the fight. They clean up Zippy. They make it happen. Uh, they, they, wow. They actually made it happen. Wow. Pure with that amazing backline disruption Crazy. there to start off the fight. They were all separated there, and SJSU capitalized on Pure just taking out the damage immediately from the fight. Yeah. Incredible play there. Yeah, he got a punch onto both the Bastion. I think pooped back one of the healers for a sec there. Yes. But crazy. Both the Doomfish played really well. Wild plays from both Doomfists here. It just felt like uh, a bit of a tank and healer game there. DPS were just in a rough spot. Uh, we saw a couple of great plays. Willow cleaning up. I want to point out Willow's ability to clean up kills way after the team fight has ended. Absolutely insane. Uh, we saw Joe Biden Pogs. Uh, Torbjorn in the in the kill feed a lot, but man, the healers played so well, and it was just about if the Doomfists had enough time and healing to get in the back line. That 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 it's, was a lot of that game. Looks like we are moving on to Shuravasa, the tried and true classic tried control true. point here that we have been seeing. It will be interesting to see what comps come out on both sides. Mm -hmm. I can imagine both sides running the Doomfist comp as it just offers so much mobility and high damage and disruption into both teams. That will be interesting to see because. Neither team has really come up with a answer to it other than just basically mirror matching it. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see how they do this. Um, looks like we are entering immediately. These teams want to get Whoa. these games done. It is they pretty late. Yeah, it is it's pretty late. late. Thank you, anybody who joined us this late. Very much appreciate it. 10.38. It's a, it's a little late. I know finals are coming up. We appreciate <laughs> anybody who uh, who has the sun on the background. So, oh, it may be bad, by the way. Oh. Okay, maybe experiencing some technical difficulties. Mind if the do not know. Look at this beautiful map by Good Overwatch map. here. Moss, lots of moss. Moss. You can like smell this map. You know what I mean? Like you can smell this map. Is all Wait, of the greenery? Oh, oh yep. Yeah. Yes. I can't That's smell it anymore. Sent back to it's... lobby by a moderator. Kind of cringe to be honest. Is what we are hearing. Kind of cringe. Yes. This map. Lots of things you can run. I yes. often see a combination of one. Dive DPS and one more range DPS. Yeah. We I see a million a whole tank line. I yep. I've seen on this map. Uh, you see Junker Queen. Oh, we very have skins. It'll be interesting to see if any team oh. actually runs skins because I know some guys up in this competition. Both if skins are available, they all agree that let's not run skins sometimes. Mm. So it'll be interesting. It can to be see. confusing. Yeah, some skins can actually change the character's appearance to not appear as what they actually do appear. Yeah. So a little strange. Some teams might gentle in agreement and just be like, yeah, even though skins are available, we won't run them, but just use some code. <laughs> Anyways, we will be interesting to see three seconds until we see what teams are on here. Let's see. Looks like, oh my, yep. a queen There's comp queen. versus a dive comp. We be Big In your dive. opinion, what do you think team actually wins here? Because I know it's back and forth. It's kind of a 50-50 between dive and queen comp as they kind of do similar things, except one just has more speed. I'm going to say do you think I am? this is going to be tough Some for Pure to find things. kills on. Now, uh, both these healers are really good at escaping. Of course, Kiriko can just get out, TP. Lucio's very fast. Uh, Queen doesn't necessarily mind getting punched around a little bit. So much damage, good amount of sustain. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I'm looking at the Queen comp here. Probably either uh, Saginaw just runs over and they get a bunch of kills really early, or it, the team fight drags out and they don't oh find my. anything. I don't know. Here, diving in immediately. Nemo taken out right Whoa. off the bat with a headshot from Jaded. SSU put in a dangerous spot as they're down one DPS. Pierre getting taken yep. down again. SSU are on the back foot at this first point. Genji chasing down the Sombra there. Sombra trying to focus through. Ooh. Is able to kill them with the virus there. Nasty ability. SSU trying to bring it back here as they are up DPS right now. Ooh, Vidi might get caught out. Maybe not. Nope. Just teleport. Oh, okay. Oh, down goes Joe Biden. Biden. Yeah, Saginaw's just getting staggered here. They can't really uh they can't really group up. I suppose the comp doesn't particularly need to group up. 
No, we're seeing this. So yeah, if they don't find the kills, it just falls Stop apart. The axe there. Very nice disruption onto the side of SJC. Biddy finding one on the Jaden right back. Skelzy finding one on the Pure Nemo. Taking down Willow. Shots going back and forth between SJC and Robert Morrison here. But we do see the skins, actually. We do see the skins. We do see some skins. We do see skins. Ting through the... Uh, that's the thing about that Stormbro ability. I think on this map, especially because of all these tight little angles and corners and stuff, being able to see somebody through walls getting somber hacked is actually pretty useful. Um, unlike on, like... Super long sideline maps. I actually S think it's pretty. SSU have to force Ooh. something. There it is. SSU There's have to get onto the point as it's already at 70% because on this game mode, the points actually tick up faster than usual. Not twice as fast. Yes, something like that. Ooh. Willow finding one. Vidi finding one back on the Willow there. Ooh. It pushes off Jaden from the point there. Big SSU punch. finding another kill on the Jaden. SSU slowly but surely chipping away at the front line. There comes the Kitsune rush and they're just trying to get this queen comp off of the point, but they're just so fast and mobile. Very hard to go by and pong. Biddy, absolutely crazy. Found a million headshots there. Uh, Joe Biden and Pong as well doing a great job cleaning up those kills. Sag it up. Yes. They got to push the whole point. It is 99% uh, for Robert Morrison. So they got to make it happen. I'm interested to see alt economy looking a little bit sag on paper. They got four versus Robert Morrison's three. I also think the. Uh, uh, but here, that's the thing. I want to say Robin Morrison's alts are a little bit more useful here. Mm -hmm. I think this is a team, uh, a match of who gets this first pick and then can roll and like clean it up nice and quick. Not let the other team find any hero plays. And I want to say the Tracer alt's really good for that. Oh, the wrong pulse target bomb. there. False bomb finds no one. That's all. Oh, I was really calling that. Your really hack the immediately really does get back up here due to the healing and the shielding. Coalescence coming out into the side of SVSU here, trying to find a point, just trying to kill somebody, but there comes a beat drop onto the side of Morrison. Mary being brought dangerously low, is healed back up to full, is Team five. Can they make it happen? Can they find the kills? Finds one. Finds one, looking Four for a second. Five. Finds two, yeah, Finds that's two. the thing, yep. snowball from here. Snowball, you got the mobility to chase down these targets. Looks like Robert Morrison is choosing to seed the point here too, as they have been taken down in three different shots. Willow swapping to the Cassidy here. Very interesting pick. Maybe try to deal with what gets behind you. Use that hinder grenade, hopefully. Yeah. Um. Well, the, or at the least thing is, the, is the, the teleport. Defense. The teleport the goes through the hinder. It, Sombra yeah. doesn't. Yeah. Sombra doesn't really oh, need the movement, so it's That's it's kind of hard to hinder her if she can just TP away and then wait out the slow. The Doomfist though doesn't want to get hindered. Yes. Doomfist does not want to get hindered. There comes a charge up. Doomfist shout, diving in immediately. SVSU Ooh. put on the back foot. Willow sniping Pyrrha right off of the fight. Can't find that punch there. Maybe they weren't ready for that range DPS, but yep, there's the snowball. SVSU, there. SVSU is pushed off the point, and Robert Morrison will get the first cap here again. Be interesting to see how far they tick up. Is SVSU switching characters? Looks like they are deciding to keep running. Robert Morrison's ult econ is way up above SVSU as SVSU invested a lot of ults towards the end of that fight there. Have a Kitsune rush and they have an EMP, so SVSU have to play very carefully as they don't really have any ults that can counter this so far. You just really got to get in there and find that kill right at the start. Joe Biden Poggin, he can't seem to find the timing to focus somebody at the same time, and it can be really hard with how spread out these fights are. Trying to find nobody's fallen yet. A lot of damage on both sides. There's a hack in the back line. Nemo, Nemo finds finding the opening Willow. kill onto Whittle. Oh, punch is coming in. Pierce doing the thing. Yeah, doing the, doing the thing. There oh, comes a queen. Go, the queen ult. Gets everybody Stopping purple. The Biddy finds two on the way out. Both the healers. Robert Morrison's got nothing. Comes Tend to make it happen. Yep. There goes down there it is. the tank. SJSU caps a point back. But Robert Morrison have capped at the 70. So SJSU put in a tough spot again. We'll see if SJSU can pull out the rabbit of the hat. Oh, horse. Horse. There's the horse. Now, this is always an interesting yeah. matchup because... Doomfist can do nothing against Orisa. Yes, Doomfist, absolutely nothing. If you but, watch the cinematic, yes. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the and cinematic. in the game, no, you can't even fight. The whole point is Orisa can't really help the backline though. Yes. So, so Pierre's got to get in there and find the Pure kills. Can't get up there. Yeah. No. Oh. Orisa immediately charging hack. SASU trying to force something off. Oh, this is such a huge Ooh. ult. Oh, there comes Maybe? a beat drop. Unfortunately, There's pushed out of the high noon. Nice. Doesn't get anything. Here's the J MP. Hits the a whole EMP bunch. Hits down two, buddy. Oh, it's looking. Maybe Saginaw Valley favored. Maybe they make it rapid. Back and forth. SVSU taking down oh, another no. one. Skelzy and Willow taking them down. SVSU forced on the back foot. Biddy just trying to stay on to the point, and they cap the point right back. Just going back and forth. SVSU need to get on the point here as they only have a couple seconds because it ticks up so fast. Yeah, you're used to looking at 73%, and you're like, oh, I have enough time for at least another team. It's fight. already at 90. No, you got to run. SVSU have to force something here. 
Looks like SSU are up a point, so it looks like they are deciding to seed this and try and catch some kills on the back route. Oh, maybe they fight this. No, oh. no, maybe they fight this. They're going Ooh, in. Yeah, there they go. Can they find that opening kill? In a little bit of a weird spot, they're investing the Moira ult. Pushed back. Goes on to point. Zippy Jaden trying to find some it. damage. A lot of it. Oh, those kills are going not Saginaw favored. Jaden finds a bunch. Oh, my. Jaden brought down dangerously low. But looks like... Robert Morrison do take the point first, and we can see Joe Biden swapping to the Torbjorn again. There's, the tried and true. There's the Torb man. The, the man. Hammer Will we man. get a hammer kill is the question. Oh, please. I'll buy you a cookie. SSU <laughs> is still down in alt econ as all ults were used there on that last push, and Scalzi with the horse ult is very dangerous because SSU don't want to be clumped up. We can see Pierre swapping to the Sigma immediately. Just switching to, range. Yes, yeah. switching the range. Not They don't want to get involved with this Orissa here. Orissa it does a very good job at staying on point, but can't really fight against the Sigma here. You can kind of just hold the shield, and uh, she can't do too terribly much. Gets hacked. Ooh, going to be in a tough spot. Here comes that ult. Orissa gets a lot of damage, and the rest will just go. Uh, go. No more health. No more health. No more health. Looks like they did invest one alt there, but FSU still isn't close in all econ as they do still have the beat drop. Willow still has the high noon, and Jaden is dangerously close to that ha EMP there. So FSU have to play really safe as they don't really have any defensive alts to deal with it. I'm going to say they're going to try to get alts as quick as possible. I don't think they're going to try to fight this to win necessarily. The goal is to poke and get alts, which this team is better at doing than Good Robert shot. Morrison's. They can throw up the shield. They can play safer. They don't have to give as much charge away. Oh, I like this oh, little nice. off angle from Viddy. Find some great damage on the Willow. The Maybe. Oh, oh no. the beat drop invested. Skelzy finding one onto Joe Biden immediately. Sigma is hacked here. SSU forced to back up. Does stun the Orissa. A lot of damage, SSU. but Orissa just yes. will not go down. The healers are there to keep him Orissa, up. Orissa, come on. Oh, almost. Orissa. Willow finds no. one, though. Viddy goes down. I don't think there's going to be enough damage left. SSU, I don't think, has enough time. EMP hacked immediately. They can't actually get onto the point here. Oh. SSU brought down by Willow. Pierre finding one on the Jaden. Zippy finding another on the Miri, but the point is capped, so SSU should just back off here as there's not really anything to fight for. Wow. Alts are now online, though, from Saginaw. Now they have three. Where are we Hammer! Uh, is uh. speared out of the sky, the poor little dwarf man. Down goes. One alt looking on online here from... Uh, from Robert Morrison. Can they use it to counter some of what Saginaw's doing? Maybe you can use it to try to deal with the, uh, 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 the Kiriko ult? You can Ooh. kind of just hold that over and you can't stay in the range. We'll see. There comes uh, I don't the think it's gonna... Bastion. Just trying to get damage down onto the back line there. Unable to find anything really. Skelzy brought Lots down damage, dangerously though. low. Yeah. Saginaw's got to push in on it though. They got to take advantage. Lots of heals. Oh, there comes oh. the Sombra. We'll go down early. Pure finds another as well. 5v3. DPS and there we go. is down. SCSU do take the point first. As there's just no damage in that comp without the Cassidy and the Sombra there. When you when you lose your DPS, you're like, yes, you have the Kiriko who can make some, some huge plays there. And yes, if in a 1v1, Orisa can use the Javelin spin into Javelin throw to find a kill. But uh, yeah, when you're down two, it's just not going to happen. There's just no damage there. Ooh, oh, huge fight onto Kitsune this rush immediately. Saginaw's tank oh, no, isn't the there ult. to do anything. Oh, trying Primo to get takes it. on the tank, though. There goes the tank. 4v4. 3v4. 4v2. Nemo <laughs> finds three in that fight. That Nemo finally goes down. down. Willow, though. Willow trying to make something happen. Pure finding Willow. And SCSU capped the point up to 50%. And there's just about only one, maybe two team fights left here on this point. And it's just going so back and forth between the two teams. About three alts for both of these teams here. Saginaw is going to get the Sigma alt online pretty quick. Not, not having beat though. Beat is such an impactful ability. You know, you throw down the Torbjorn alt, take a lot of damage. There's beat. You know, use the Sigma flux. There's beat. It's just not. It just. It's really rushed immediately onto the side of Robert Morrison, trying to make something happen. Oh, Viddy finds Miri on a random off play here. SJSU forcing them back. Looks like they do have to invest the high noon there. Doesn't find anybody just yet, and I spoke too soon. Will finds one. Will finds three. Will find him, and Zippy though. find him, though. There's some alt left. Do they want to invest? Do they want to try to make it work? Zippy's alive. Un Get speared. Maybe popping the coalescence. Might Here's dropped, the though. beat in uh, retaliation. Nemo's left alive. No more form. Nemo pushed left off. Left alive. Maybe they make this work. They invest. Try the orb. There's not there, quite enough damage. Not enough maybe. damage to it's kill. It's so close. Zippy brought Zippy dangerously low. Skelzy finding Zippy, and looks like they did cap the point there. 
SSU forced off at 99%. That's the thing. Saginaw's almost entirely grouped up here. Can they make it? Ooh, Ooh. almost finds the kill really early. I think Saginaw can get to the point before the rest of Robert Morrison gets there. Yes, no! Oh, no, no Robert Morrison gets there just in time. There's SSU the hack. forced off. Got to wait to regroup as they don't have everybody with them. Torbjorn Turret taken down. SSU taking the high ground here. There is a flux. Looks like Sigma just might try and deny area there. Just try and keep them out. But Arisa standing her ground onto the point there. Ooh, finds a Sombra. There's also a spear down. and a hack, though, if you go for Flux. That's really yeah. scary. Oh, there's the oh, Arisa all the, on the top. There's the finds Flux. one. Maybe gets it on a will. Yep. 4v4. 4v4. Ooh, Arisa maybe got, that down. was the thing. Jump behind one, Jane, 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 three. In the back line, the no. DPS. Moira Pure finds one under Jen. Pure finds one under Mr. Eerie. Just Moira. There it is. We're going to point five. We're going to point five five here yes this is why we watch overwatch this Usually, is perfect this doesn't happen on most maps it's so one-sided oh yeah control so very interesting to see how robert morrison respond as ssu has taken the past two points here joe biden and nemo both have very zone controlling alts and this point is very bad for what robert morrison yeah. wants to do because it's just so tight and it's like you can't actually do anything like imagine a yep there comes a bastion ult just trying to force people away, and then I can imagine it comes up the welcome mat. SSU pushing onto the point here. Oh, no, you're in a dangerous spot. It's yeah, taken it goes down. down. Yeah, there it there is. Here comes a welcome mat. Got SSU not finding anything here. Off the backup, Willow finds it. Couldn't keep Pure alive there. Normally, you can send maybe the Kiriko in there, but no, just around that corner, there's too much focus fire. Nocturna taking down the Tard Turret, unfortunately. Willow and Nocturna taking down Zippy. Gelzy finding another on the Nemo, and SSU are just pushed off the point. Looks like SSU is switching to a queen comp, though. Just Ooh. trying to move fast and get onto the point there. This is really good with Kitsune Rush, though. Queen comp with Kitsune and a Moira ult behind you, if needed, is really powerful. I want to say Soldier can jump in, too, in there. I did not know this is a high ground. Wow. You learn new things every day. Looks like SSU caught them on the back foot, as they didn't expect them to actually... <laughs> this is the thing, though. Yeah, I think Queen Kitsune can do Rush pretty immediately. well. immediately... Lots of damage. Willow, Willow finding Joe Biden. Finds one. Finds, finds a second. Two. Wow. SSU forced off the point. Pierre brought dangerous low and is finally taken down by Jaden Skelzy. Wow. wow. Robert Morrison with the really well counter Whoa. on that play there. That was absolutely incredible. Only one alt currently left online. Zippy has coalescence. Uh, Looks like Joe Biden has I'm to get onto the point here. Almost has it. Yeah, because winner takes all here. This is it. Yeah. This, yep. They're going to make something. Joe Biden goes in early. It's going to fall early, too. Just got to get that overtime. Get it. Four lessons coming out onto the side of SSU, trying to keep everybody alive on the point here. Almost finding one there. Coalescence just ran out. SSU forced off the point again. They're just trying to swap back and forth between aggro on point. That's just a little bit too much damage. Might not Nocturne be able to keep everybody Vidi. alive. Down goes Vidi. Uh, down goes the tank. Down goes Zippy. Zippy. Yep. SSU trying to keep the dream alive. And Nemo just isn't able to get onto the point. And neither Joe Biden Pog and map goes to rmu here that's the thing about flashpoint is each point is really different uh, and teams have wildly different amounts of comfort i don't know about you but there are some parts of that map i do not like fighting on and there are some points where i'm like this is my favorite part of overwatch and it it simply looks like last point that was hmu's point yes that's simply how that worked incredible and uh anti-alting I want to say it response alting really well done there uh absolutely incredible rmu very much casted those alts at the right time because if they did it too soon they it wouldn't have done anything because sfcu would have still had part of their alt but they just waited out the storm just waited for the perfect timing and caught sfcu on the back foot SSU in that last fight actually caught them at an off angle, but unfortunately wasn't able to capitalize it as SSU wasn't able to funnel in there. Queen was the only one that was able to get in, but then was immediately forced out by that Orisa just spinning the spear and pushing them all off of that point. And yeah. unfortunately for Joe Biden Pog, who swapped to the Faro for that play, was immediately sniped out of the sky by Willow there on the Sojourn, who has been immaculate oh. on those headshots there. Willow's done so good all set long. Absolute star player there. Yes. Um, do not know if teams are taking a timeout here as they are going to game three. It's 2-1 in favor of RMU. Game, game four. four, and we are moving on to push. I don't see that very often. Don't see that I very imagine often. a Coliseo? Is this push? Oh, yeah, well, we're moving on to push. Blizzard World is not a push map. Blizzard we, World is not We're not playing. Like, I was like, kind of excited. I was like, Blizzard World? That's new. Blizzard World's pretty cool. I don't know. Oh, 
So what are our options? We got Dorado. We got Coliseo. Uh, Coliseo. Esperanza. Oh, Esperanza. Yep, there it oh, comes. Oh, did I say Dorado? Dorado. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> but I'm yes, thinking looks of Looks like we escort. are moving on to Esperanza. SJSU looks like they will be defending first. So mm. it will be interesting to see what comps come out. Because the map is so open that they relatively can run any comp. Yeah. This map, so it's just hard to tell because teams favor different things push because certain things work certain things don't and 100 percent, there are wide open sight lines there are close flanks i i i think the map design uh, really does allow for all kinds of play i i of course maps are some maps are going to be different you know circuit really has a lot of open sight lines and a lot fewer flanks uh stuff like that but i mean I think the design is pretty good. I think I think you could run a widow. I think you could run a tracer. You no, know, maybe, like maybe we'll see junkrat. We are, yeah. We're we gonna are. see a sombra. I almost guarantee you, we're gonna see at a sombra least from on the side. There's gonna be at least one sombra. On to willow or doom. We're gonna. We run, we run a doom, doom, Arissa. Maybe we see the Reinhardt. Reinhardt is very good at this map, as the bot can also soak a lot of damage. You just can hide behind it. So. SSU are going to be here trying to push something here. I imagine they do a dive comp because it has relatively worked out for them so far. Mm. Yeah, that's been that's been somewhat the theme. Ow, I mm. you I don't know. You you could run a lot of stuff here. Sojourn could work. Maybe yes, we will see. I don't know. Maybe it's it, it feels a little awkward for Sojourn. There's something about the map design that feels a little awkward. Yep. What here, an ass. Oh my, an Ash I Sigma. Ash, Looks wow. Like RMU Big have switch. switched incredibly different. Um, they've shown us all three kind of comps. They showed us so far this new poke comp. They've showed the queen comp, and then they've also showed the dive and then just the brawl comp too. Mm. So it's just they're such a versatile team so far that they're just pulling out all the stops here in the semifinals. Yeah, we've been a lot of character switching, a lot of a uh, map dependent team comps. It's been a joy. It's been a joy so far. We see completely different healers. We see completely different tank. Completely different DPS. There's not a single similar character here. We're going to see how that functions. We got Nemo here on going for a bit of a quick flank. Get on the high ground. Soldier does really well. Got that self-sustain. Ash, and that's going to be tough, though, to try to take down an Ash and a Soldier. You really can't fight that. You got to get closer. Ooh, missed oh, that missed punch. the punch, unfortunately. SSU, without a tank on the front line here, it's going to be very hard for them to actually get in. Pure brought dangerously low. Pure getting healed back here. SSU forced off the back Ooh, line. They do not want to be in that corner. Pure getting taken down by Jaden, and SSU lose the bot first. And he's gonna get out of there. He's also getting Joe Biden taken down too. Ooh. This is very bad for SVSU as usually the first team fight sets the tone on the push maps. It really does. That that's the issue with this uh kind of type that we've seen. The, the map type is once you get it pushed a decent amount, it's really hard for the other team to come back. We've seen some uh, attempts to fix that and then they've helped, but it's it's really uh hard. Really one sided once that first team fight is Ooh, decided here. Looks like Nemo is on the flank again. SSU trying to make something happening, trying to regroup here. Pierre brought down dangerously low there. Nemo taken down too. Nemo's not with the team whatsoever, so Nemo gets chased down. Nemo makes it back to the team and is healed. SSU trying to flank here with Pierre as the bot's still pushing. The bot's almost to the first checkpoint already. Ooh. No picks here from the start. There's been really solid field play, Maybe really solid playing around the corners. Maybe Pure, here comes the first yes. one. Pierre finds the first, makes it out, makes it out. Yes, makes it out. And power plunge. Pure. Pushes on, gets the healing pot. Oh, Nocturna there. brings back Willow, who is taken down from the pick, though. They can't stop this payload, though. They have nothing really to contest this. They want to fight on the back line. And uh, just simply not allowing it. Sigma is keeping people in front. Damage is being constantly dealt, so they cannot go in. And the moment they do, they just get dogpiled by everybody back there. Joe Biden finding one on Nocturna. Willow finding one back. SSU trying to push. There goes Pierre onto Willow and finds a kill. SSU taking kill after kill. And same with RMU. Look, they're winning this team fight, but the card's still being pushed. They, this it's, comp it's, can't, they oh. can't do anything. It's 88.31. They have to win the entire team fight. That's the issue. They have to win the whole team fight before they get another pushed. Another team yeah. fight to actually push it that far. And the bot's still being pushed. SSU. It's still being pushed. Win the team oh. fight, but the bot has to He's run like, all the way back. And I don't think SVSU will have enough time to get the bot to actually push it because I think they'll meet RMU right when the bot gets to their barrier. The whole philosophy behind dive comp is you ignore the point and win the team fight as fast as possible, taking out some kills in the back line. But if you ignore the bot, it just keeps getting pushed. And HMU's 
Uh, right, DPS yeah. don't care how far away you are. They want to fight from range. Willow finding Joe Biden immediately. There. Oh. Oh, there down goes Skelzy finding Hold Willow. Up. Skelzy finding HMU Nemo, though. HMU does find two at the start of SSU that. SSU are down DPS. And he goes, that's not who you want to target right now. You want to get that mercy, but you can't make that happen. You're maybe, 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 potentially. Ooh, does find that kill. Jaden. Will be hard to keep alive. Biddy stays up. 2v2, I think, on the point right now. Just the healers versus the The problem here is SSU are in a bit of a pickle here as they have to push. Armu necessarily doesn't want to take control of the robot as they pushed it far enough. They're just trying to play defensively here. They might actually get off the bot, to be honest. That would be the smart choice here. Just leave the bot back there. But it looks like they want to go for the full cap. I, I do kind of like the philosophy behind this. Sending your soldier onto the flank and pressure that, that yeah. crazy back line. Well, but you're man, finding one yeah. on the willow. There comes the oh, hack, bringing oh, down that turret. Skelzy brought down Mary and SJSU. Take the team fight and team wipe here soon enough. Yes, SSU get the team wipe, but the bot wasn't pushed. Nobody was on the bot. <laughs> By the time they That's get the back issue. again, the bot will just now be meeting the barrier. It's just a philosophy. It's just like, it's so hard to manage that bot at the same time. Like, Your comp doesn't want to worry about the bot. SSU are already back on the point and... Oh, Joe Biden fighting one on the Nocturne. That is huge, huge for SSU so they can start pushing this map here. There goes Willow out the window. <laughs> He's pushed off. Willow finds one on the Nemo in the back line. Maybe a 4v4 Sigma for this fight. Is, Sigma's in the back Sigma's line, another. though. What is this team? What is going Jane on? Finding two immediately there. Has to back up. It's SSU's forced off. They only pushed it about 15 meters here. Well, SSU really on the back foot here. They got to make something happen. There's still five minutes, so there are decent team fights still available to them. But... They, RMU just pushed it so far on that first push that it's just hard for them to do anything. Saginaw is just about one kill away at all points in time for making the comp work. But they're just slightly off, and because of that, cart the cart's at 90. Or the bot's at 90. Bye. Five here. minutes. I want to punch. Come on. Big punch. Oh, almost oh. finds the kill in the back line. Yes. Yep, there, there it is. Goes, there goes the kill. Jaden finding one on the video, though. All is being popped. Finds a second on the zippy. Is in the back line just completely low. How? Oh, no, oh, find no. that. No, nothing to keep yourself alive. Down goes Pierre, down goes Joe Biden. As, they might oh, actually dear. get a full push here. Oh, wow. They're just chugging away here. SSU are going to be forced to defend at their base. Oh, this is never where you want to be. Joe Biden Paw going on to the widow for that, that play potential. You got to make something crazy happen here. Comp's not working here. Oh, the back line? Back line, Maybe Nocturra. Finds it onto Nocturra. Oh, no. Barely. Nocturra gets out. Is, Nemo finding one. Pierre finding a second. The cleanup. Yes, the cleanup. Wow. That's the thing. Sigma once you flux. get ahead, once you get ahead with dive, you have the mobility to chase down and make sure nobody gets out. That is one of the huge advantages. Willow is still alive, though, and still has Bob. I actually have no idea where Willow is at currently. Somewhere. I did not see Willow. Willow's in the back line. <laughs> I mean, I guess hurry. Bob's going to do some damage, but... It's just you have so long to push, and they're oh. going to have to force an overtime to stay on the point here. Less than four minutes. You're going for that back line. They oh, find, no, oh they're going up an interesting route here. Where's that Bob at? Whoa. Where did Bob go? Oh, Bob. Bob, Bob finds two. two. Jane finds another. No. SASU on there's the back line there. Yeah. Here gets taken down, and the bot goes back into the control yep. of the SASU getting team wiped there. HMU can't, just doing a really good job RMU. just playing calm. Army. Sorry. <laughs> I say HMU. Really good job. Uh, just staying, staying alive. No, no reason to get super crazy with it. Try to deal with the dive best I can. Stay together. Uh, not uh, keep keep everybody topped See, off. If Nothing I was crazy. RMU here. I just push the bot like halfway in between the barrier and then just leave it and defend. You want? I mean, you can. You I've can, that. but like, I feel like they just want to. Oh, 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 Willow oh, finding. Oh, Nemo just Nemo finding, finding two three back three. though. Nemo getting taken down and SCC are left without DPS. Joe Biden swapping to the high. Oh! Get beyond the classic. The frog. Frog. Frog hopper. Kelsey finding Viddy though. Just contesting the point here. You're, he's done such a good job on this Doom Fist. Nemo swapping to Genji. Just looking for all the movement Speed. here to just try and contest the point and find something. Leaning into the dive as much as possible. That's the thing about this uh, this new alt that Brig got so hard to deal with once she popped. It's a really good alt now. If he gets the kill though. Mercy left alive. Oh, the chase. chase down. Nemo Find finding it. Zippy finding another. Is burning though. Ooh, gotta find the health back. Health back. Health back. Oh, oh, back. No. Oh, There's no health back there. Burning. Oh no. 
It says you take control of the bot, but they got two minutes to push that checkpoint, though. Oh, I'm Hanzo now. Oh, he's burning. Real damage. Biddy 1v1 <laughs> in Willow. Biddy's done such a good job with the 1v1s. This whole fight, or this whole uh, pushing game. the bot back, but they're gonna be back in time again. The moment the bot reaches the barrier, RMU is gonna be on it immediately. I says you only have to push it to that checkpoint there to just get the extra time, but RMU not allowing it immediately pushing on to booped off by the Brigitte there. I says you trying to help the backline there. Pure nanoed in there immediately, trying to find something. Skelzy finding Viddy with a. Oh, there, Joe Biden finding one, Willow taking it back. SSU are down players here, and Pierce trying to make something happen. Finds one under there. Nocturo raises Willow, though. Yeah, it's a 4v3 at this point. RMU's up. Nemo finds uh, one, Nemo. though. Back to 3 versus Nemo. 3. Pure makes it, maybe. Up up one, I believe. There, yeah, it's 2v3 right now. There comes Zippy onto the Mercy there. Oh, man. Can they find it? Skelzy finds Nemo, though. Oh my, oh, there's, a punch. You. there's a bunch, they gotta the make it happen! Pocket Mercy, no! It's a brawl, it's a two versus two! No, Skelly finds find Zippy, it's just so back and forth. No. Actually, you need to make a decision here. Regroup or stop fighting as they're just stalling here and Pierce no taking down. Yeah, this the time ticking down just favors RMU. Oh no, the arrows. Will they find somebody? Ooh. Ooh. Ah. I don't know. Since you have one team fight left here and then they have to stay contested. Interesting to see how they pull out here because SSU is just having a difficult time dealing with this Sigma and Poke comp. Got to get in there with the alts. Make here some momentum happen. The, oh, here they the dragon. come from both sides. Joe, Joe Biden finding Joe Willow. Finding Big punch. Skelzy trying to make something work. Joe Biden finding a second. Eerie taking down Zippy. Jaden finding pure though. SSU is left without a tank. Here comes a Dragon Blade. Unfortunately, isn't able oh. to get close enough. Oh no, that's oh, not good. Too many seconds. ults. SSU are on the back foot here. They're gonna push here. Viddy backing off. SSU just trying to contest the bot here as they get one more team fight. As everybody's back up here, beat drop is available, so they can try and make a huge play here. Oh, but a lot of ults coming online here for MU. Have to contest. Oh, there's the it purple. Skelzy taking down Viddy. Maybe oh, no, no, but Pure goes, goes down. down too. They're on point. Here come all the ults from RMU. Oh, and there's Sigma no, Flux after the, the Lucio. There, all the yep, there it is. Bob is That's there, gonna do it. And SSU Six unfortunately feet, lose the team fight, and game goes to RMU. I believe Three that's set to one. Three to one in the set. Wow, very dominant gameplay by RMU there. <laughs> Nemo says Nemo wants to go. Nemo study. wants to go <laughs> study and <laughs> oh no, poor Nemo. It's a Kelly. Crazy Kelsey. good tank play. My doom punched a sig into me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Viddy. Viddy's. We see the. We, oh, I, I believe. We can only see the see chat, it. but uh, uh, some good, some good nature. Viddy Tom was Fulery. unfortunately gifted by Pierre with a sigma. Yeah. Yes. Anyway. Anyways, that will be the last SVSU team in playoffs. Unfortunately, they were knocked out in semis, but congratulations to Overwatch for making it actually, I think, yeah. the furthest out of all the esports e teams here. Yeah. So they have done a very good job in the new uh, conference so far. And well job to RMU there also because the game was very close, GGs. and then RMU just pulled ahead with the momentum Ooh. in the last game there. It's off that first team fight on the push. Very unfortunate for SVSU, but GG's to both sides of the team. GG's really solid play. Star players on both sides. I saw crazy plays from pretty much everybody. Uh, so, I mean, that's to be expected of players of this caliber. We were watching some pretty high-level gameplay, as I'm sure you saw. So, I believe that's all we have for the last time. Yeah, you won't see uh, us for, think. for about like a month and a half now. For, um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a minute since I yeah. since we get to say this again. Yep. Your nap. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Everybody who tuned in, everybody who came down to the student life to watch. We appreciate everything that you all uh, all the support. Again, GG's to RMU. Everybody have a very safe night. I have been Aquatic. I have been Kaiser. It has been an absolute joy and a pleasure. Have a very good rest of your night. Good night.